What is up you guys? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you are new to my channel. My name is Kusum Toe. Um, welcome. Alright. Okay, so today's topic. So I'm going to be talking about... This is just basically a, just a video for the, for the lazy natural and as well as debunking natural hair myths that people believe that are false. That like would really make your life easier in terms of your natural hair. Let's get into this video. I don't like to ramble on too much. All right, I have my notes here, so I'll, if y'all look down here, that's it's my notes. All right, number one, you do not need fifteen steps to get longer, healthier, stronger hair. Trust me, you don't need it. You do not need it. On oh, my hair care step, my hair care legitimately consists of four steps. Number one, my pre-poo, which is also my mask. So I make masks for my hair to detangle my hair and to help with like, to make it healthier. So I make some plain yogurt or mayonnaise, an egg, some oil, mix it up, put it in my hair. I leave it on for like 10 minutes and then I'm good. Then I shampoo my hair. That's step number two, shampoo my hair. After shampooing my hair in those sections, after detangling, I put it in sections, right? I shampoo my hair in those sections. Number two, sorry guys, I had this like weird new brace thing, so it's disturbing me, but let it not disturb you, I'm sorry, sorry guys. Okay, after, after shampoo my hair, I condition my hair, I leave it on for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, then I wash it out, after, after washing it out, I moisturize my hair and I put it in braids, like a braid out, so that's what I have in my hair, a braid out, next day I take it out, I'm all set, that's legitimately it, as long as you have the good strong bases to grow your hair, for example, putting essential oils in your shampoo, making sure that the treatments that you make, you can add some um, Ayurveda treatments in there to actually help with your, with your hair strength, how it looks, shiny, making it shinier and healthier, honestly, it's really easy to grow your hair, it's not that big of a deal, as well as incorporating a scalp serum, like after, or like when you're styling your hair, you just put on a scalp serum, massage into your scalp. That's it. You can massage it maybe every other day, three times a week maybe. And that is legitimately it. You don't need any, you don't need 15 steps. You don't need a lot of steps. Make it easier for yourself, please. <laughs> All right. Number two. Okay. Okay. I, I don't want to skip this one, but it's, it's, it's just, guys, castor oil. I'm so sorry. It doesn't grow your hair. It's a conditioning treatment. It helps to make your hair soft. It helps to make your hair easier to manage, sure. But it's not a hair growth. It doesn't have any stimulant properties, so it's not going to grow your hair. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Number three, okay. Preserving your natural hair or preserving your hairstyle. This is a big one. This is a really big one. People always come to you like, oh my gosh, I want to go natural, but natural hair is so hard because I have to braid it every single night. And I'm like... every single night yeah mm -mm. no you don't need to be doing that i understand shrinkage and you're trying to preserve your hair but you these other methods that you can use that are far all right <laughs> i'm so sorry guys my camera stopped filming i don't know what was going on but as i was saying i was like there's many different like ways of preserving your hair preserving your hairstyle at night or to stretch it out and to keep it in the same style that are way better than having to complete to completely braid your hair like all over every single night there are so many different methods banding for one is what i would recommend you part your hair into four sections you um separate your hair like in those four sections you can choose to take that whole section if it's too big split it into two more sections and then just band your hair it doesn't have to be perfect not too if you pull it out too much it's going to be way too straight just enough to just keep it in its stretched form so that um when you take it out in the morning it hasn't shrunk back up after you band your hair um with the silk scrunchie i would recommend a silk scrunchie because it won't like um it's better for your hair like it won't tag or nag the hair or tear the hair or break off your hair or anything like that it's just way easier and way better way better and then just put on your bonnet after after banding your hair go to sleep wake up in the morning take it out boom done don't have to restyle your hair every single night that's a lot of work way too much work all right number four okay be careful please be careful what you call a protective style a lot of people are like oh my gosh it's braiding season i braid my hair my hair's gonna grow i'm so no 
no no no no no that's not how it works listen be careful that the protective styling that you're doing is actually doing good more than harm protective styling can be a good thing with low manipulation it's it's low manipulation so it prevents hair breakage and makes sure it, it just preserves or maintains your hair your hair length so that you don't see breakage so that your hair doesn't break off however if you're going to be braiding your hair in these really tight braids that break off your hair it's not doing any good it's doing no harm so what i would recommend if you are adamant on um low manipulation or just protective styling your hair put your hair into two braids put them into two braids on your own natural hair or if you want to you can add the 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 cannot the can can hair or the yucky braid whatever you're using at the ends of your hair so that this part is your hair and then you just extend it out so that there's less tension on your hair on your scalp however if not however what am i saying <laughs> if you are going to a stylist and after braiding your hair you have like those little rash bumps on your scalp or you have headaches tension headaches it's too tight it's way too tight it's way too tight and it's doing harm more than good what you need to do um if you're not if you don't want to um, braid your hair yourself or um just do like simple protective styling man like you can just braid two braids on yourself like flat twists or braids whatever if you don't want to do that if you want to go and actually get your braids done please make sure that this, the stylist that you're using that they're sensitive and careful with your hair, that they're not going to just break off your hair or tie your hair way too tight, braid your hair too tight, because that's doing harm more than good. Okay. All right. Good. All right, number five, moisture. Oh my goodness, this is important. People are always going off this rant that I don't want to have natural hair. Natural hair is a whole job because it's so dry. It's just a lot. I can't handle this. Yada, yada, yada. Listen to me. You don't need to make your life miserable, how or hard for, for like no reason. Do this thing, please. Please do this thing. You take your take um I'm sorry, this thing is bothering me. <laughs> take your uh, like a spray bottle that you can get from Pip for like seven rand or something. Take that spray bottle. Post an aloe vera juice in that spray bottle. Again, I'll link or I'll write the name of the web the website where I get these things from. You can also get aloe vera juice from like checkers don't worry about it girl just check us go check for aloe vera juice you'll get it okay pour some aloe vera juice in that spray bottle pour some oil your favorite oil maybe some some essential oils as well to stimulate your scalp if you're spraying it on your scalp as well pour your favorite leave-in conditioner shake that thing up when you go to bed at night whether you do this like every other day or every day maybe like twice a week three times a week whatever however long you're doing it take the sections that you take when you go um band your hair for the night or i forgot to mention this with preserving your hairstyle you can also do like a pineapple on your hair that's what i do it's easier it's just easier or just like two um ponytails two uh no four ponytails yeah <laughs> just four ponytails it doesn't have to be tight ponytails because then it's going to leave an indention just like a light loose ponytail that's just going to keep your hair in that state so that it doesn't shrink okay back to what i was saying all right okay so then when you go to band your hair take that um spray mixture that you made your favorite your moisture mixture basically you shake it up spray it onto that section it doesn't have to be dripping wet not actually not doesn't have to don't make it dripping wet if you want to wake up in the morning with your style intact don't make it dripping wet. Just mist, mist it over. Just mist it over and then pat it into your hair. Take some oil, pat it into your hair, band your hair, put on your bonnet, go to sleep. You have now, you have, you're preserving your hairstyle as well as moisturizing your hair so that your hair is softer and easier to manage. That's what I recommend. That's what I use. And that's what you should be doing. It's easier that way, girl. It's easier. Okay. Number six combing out your hair this is a big one because mm -hmm. everybody everybody in the natural hair community it's a big problem just like i can't comb out my hair it's too dry and it's too much and i understand here's what you can do instead of using hair tools use these god's gift for our natural hair queens use these these are your best friends use your hands use your fingers literally just use your fingers to detangle. Use your fingers to, if you want to lift up the root, use that. Use your fingers if you want to um, just like 
just whatever use your fingers if combing out your hair is a big struggle use your fingers it's i've been using my fingers for since i went natural i only started incorporating a few like hair tools this year actually actually legitimately this year i was like eh, let me try it out and even then if you want to use some hair tools here's some tips start from you from your ends then work it up to your roots do not be forceful be gentle and loving on your hair okay it's unique it's different it's not straight that's just the reality of it you can't just go like this and be frustrated with it just be just be accept okay my hair is curly it's okay take your 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 whatever you're using whether it's a it's a hair pick um an afro comb um a white tooth comb please make sure it's white tooth though please don't be using a fine rat tail comb and just doing this nope white tooth comb rake it from your um start brushing or combing out your hair from the ends i wouldn't really comb out my hair because if i have my hair in a braid out i don't want to comb out my hair unless if it's tight if it's wash day which i use my fingers but like you know why i don't even see the need for these tools maybe wash day if you want to but in general i'm just like mm, these are god's gifts for us god's gift use the lord's gift don't neglect the gifts okay anyways <laughs> so if you want to do that though if you want to use tools start from your ends rake it and then start and then start um combing through your hair till your roots and that's how you can detangle your hair that's how you can use a hair tool without breaking your hair without breaking your hair and i'm um, causing just more like pain tension because some people are tender headed like myself that's why i use my fingers but that all but that is all literally that's all that is all that is all and thank you guys for watching this video you made it to the end of this video thank you so so much i hope and i pray that these tips really help you if you like this video please like it please like it very big for me please subscribe to my channel and then as well as um click the notification button so that you will be notified every time i post a new video and please comment i'd like to hear your comments like to see if you liked it if you didn't like it if you're going to use my tips or not if you hope it helps you i'll see you on my next video god willing of course and thank you <laughs> bye